So, I think this is our sixth attempt at trying to make Green Bean run. We made a run the first and the second time, but she crashed. So, this time, we're going to try and get her to run without any crashing. Don't you dare do this again. Don't bring dirt in the kitchen and put it on the shelf. Oh, you found that in the truck. Yeah. Nice and sunny day here. Uh, uh. Hope you can see the sun. Yeah, so I think we're gonna shoot her off now. Perfect. Absolutely stunning engine this is so green bean was made in 1985 by the mammoth company so this so green bean is a mammoth engine oh uh Turn it down a little bit. Yep. You want me to go get the tender? Nope. <laughs> That's what you get, eh? Especially open the throttle. You sure you haven't been playing with this, Peter? I'm sure. It's best that you open the throttle because yeah, you see. I need a glass. Hey, oh.
Here you go. There's a spider on my camera. So this engine right here is an Ekkercraft Eldrig. It's a Pennsylvania Railway 201, remote controlled and manufactured in Australia. Hmm. Maybe it might be the water leaking. The water leak dropped into the gas pipe and then all the extra water from the leaking is turning into steam as well. So essentially the train is popping off. And there goes Daddy adjusting the regulator or the Johnson bar or whatever you want to call it. Hope you all guys come see it because I don't think you can because of the shaky camera. But you could definitely see this. It's the end of a day, and Eldrig and his little American buddy are having a nice chat over how the first running session of 2019 was. And then I almost ran off into a wooden shed. I lost my tender about three times. And when you're done with a live steam train, best thing to do let it, all the gas out. And the best thing to do with an electric train is to put it away. Right. This way, the rain doesn't get to it. That's right.